let p of x equal x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. Factor p into linear and irreducible quadratic factors with real coefficients. So uh, we need to factor this. Um, this here, we've got four terms, so factoring by grouping might work out for us. So we'll go ahead and group this, uh, this pair here and this pair here. From this first pair, we can pull an x squared out. So x squared, and we're left with an x minus 3. Uh, for this next one, there's not really anything we can pull out, but I'm going to write it as plus 1 times x minus 3, just to show that I have a grouping there. And uh, now I've got this common factor of x minus 3, so I can pull that out x minus 3, and we are left with this x squared and this plus 1, so x squared plus 1. So there's a factored form of p of x. This is a linear factor, x minus 3, and x squared plus 1 is quadratic, and we just want to make sure that it's irreducible. A quick way to determine if a quadratic is irreducible is looking at this quantity here, b squared minus 4ac. Uh, this is what's called the discriminant of the quadratic, and it's the thing that shows up underneath the square root in the quadratic formula. And if that thing is negative, then you're trying to take the square root of a negative number, which does not give you something real. And so if b squared minus 4c for ac is negative, uh, then the quadratic ax squared plus bx plus oh, bx plus c is uh, irreducible. So here uh, we have a is 1, b is 0, and c is 1 in this quadratic x squared plus 1. So this is 0 minus 4, that's negative uh, 4, which is of course negative, and so this is an irreducible quadratic. So this here then we know is completely factored into linear and irreducible quadratic factors.